How to collect sputum samples. Sputum samples are used to diagnose active tuberculosis, also known as TB, and to monitor the effectiveness of TB treatment. You have already been given up to three plastic bottles to collect sputum samples. In this step-by-step -step video, we'll show you how to properly collect those samples. It's important to collect the sputum sample right after you wake up in the morning because thick sputum collects in the lungs overnight. Do not eat or drink, brush your teeth, smoke, or use mouthwash before you collect your sputum. Before starting, wash your hands with soap and water for 15 to 20 seconds. Rinse well and use a hand towel to pat dry. On the bottle, write your name, as well as the date and time the sputum sample was collected. Remember to use a different bottle each day. Next, open the plastic bottle, but be careful not to touch the inside of the bottle or the cap. Now, breathe in deeply two to three times, and then cough deeply from the chest to bring up sputum from the lungs. Try to cough up at least one to two teaspoons. Make sure your sample contains sputum and not saliva. It's important to note that sputum is different from saliva or spit. Saliva is thin and nearly clear, while sputum is often thick. Sputum comes from the lungs and is produced by a deep cough from the chest. The color may be dull white or dull light green. Bloody specimens will be red or brown. After coughing, spit the sputum into the plastic bottle. Close the plastic bottle cap tightly. Make sure the outside of the bottle is clean and wipe off any excess sputum on the sides. Place the bottle into the plastic bag. Remove the blue plastic band from the bag to seal it and wash your hands again. Refrigerate the bag with the sputum bottle right away to keep it cold, but do not freeze it. After you're done, be sure to wash your hands. When all sputum samples are collected, please contact your local public health agency. They will help you arrange a pickup or drop-off of the sputum sample.